Hi, this is John Marlin, Pulse Research. I sure appreciate you taking a few minutes to take a look at the new Pulse Call Manager program. This is a sneak preview of the proof of concept of the Pulse Call Planner. First of all, I want to thank everybody who sent in your example call planners and your call sheets. Extremely helpful, useful, and insightful in uh, getting together the information that is most important to you to include in the Pulse Call Manager program. We appreciate it very, very much. Let's take a quick tour and overview of the proof of concept of the Pulse Call Manager program. Obviously, step one in putting together a call plan is identifying leads, hot prospects, that'll go into your call plan, either on a daily basis or on a weekly basis. A couple different thoughts and you know, suggestions on that. You know, number one is many times you're doing a special section and your manager requires you to put together, you know, a list of leads or hot prospects for, you know, that special section, such as a health and wellness special section. So I'll show you in just a second live how to very quickly and efficiently put together a call plan for a health and wellness special section. You know, the other option is obviously putting together hot prospects, lead a call report you know, from businesses within your sales territory. So I'll show you with the uh, geo-prospecting tool, the ability for you to create a call plan, you know, from businesses, maybe some of them that you've overlooked in your own sales territory. And then the other option is with the reader buying power. Now putting together a call plan is simple and easy. Either the manager, you know, can tag and assign a specific business you know, and put it in an ad reps call plan, you know, for the day or the week or for a special section, for instance, or the ad rep, you know, can identify a business and tag that business and populate their call plan. So we'll show you live in a second, you know, how that can be done. Obviously, the, the next step in a, you know, in a call reporting program is identifying and recording the sales activity. In phase one, it'll be manual, just like you're doing right now. You'll be able to print a call plan and then just manually write in for each individual business, you know, the specific sales activities, you know, with and for that business. The second phase, which I think you're going to love, is it'll be automated. That from the account page for that business within your Pulse Sales Tools or directly with the Pulse call sheet, you're going to be able to tag or click on a specific activity and record it right into your call sheet. And then, obviously, the last step is to be able to submit, send in your call report call sheet. No fuss, no hassle. It'll be fast and easy. So let's take a look, kind of, you know, a, a top-level overview, you know, of the Pulse Call Planner call management program. First thing I want to show you is how easy it is, you know, to set up, you know, a call plan or, or leads for your own specific sales territory. So click here on your prospecting tool, you know, on your, in your Pulse sales tool, you can get it so it goes right into your own sales territory. And I remember when I was in the ad rep, a lot of times I drove around in my territory trying to figure out, you know, who to call on. This is so fast and easy because you get all your businesses right at your fingertip within your geographic area. So you just click on a specific business. If you want to create an account for that business, you just click right here. But to tag that business and put it into your Pulse Call plan, you just click on the tag right there. It's as simple as that. The second option that we have for you is, let's say you're going to be doing a call list or, or, or hot prospects leads for a special section that's coming up. And you got to get together those leads and prospects for that health and wellness section. So within the hot prospects program, I want to organize the businesses by category. So I click there and it reorganizes by type. I want to go down here to health and medical. Because a wellness section, obviously health and medical businesses. By the way, look at all the business category prospects. But I want to identify some chiropractors, for instance. So I come down here to chiropractor. I click on find. It brings up a map of, of local chiropractors plus a list of chiropractors. And now to develop a call plan, you know, for my wellness special section, I click on a particular chiropractor, tag him, put him into my call plan, 
Click on this particular business, put him in a call plan. Click on this chiropractor, put him in a call plan. It's as simple and easy as that. Now let's take a look at an example pulse call plan. Okay? So based upon the input we got from you, you want to obviously have the business. You want to have the sales activities, the call type, the purpose of the call, what was presented, the pulse presentation it was made, et cetera, et cetera, sale, yes or no, what's the next step, and when. So as you saw just a moment ago, I tagged, you know, three chiropractic businesses, you know, for my call plan for my health and wellness special section. They will automatically populate into your call plan. Then you can just print it, and like you're doing right now, on the printed sheet, just write in for that business the sales activity. The first step is then, and let me go here back to the Pulse program, go to Accounts. So in version one, you can go to a particular business, and let's just here click on a business, and up comes the information on that business, but I wanna show you how you can identify, tag, record if you will, specific sales activities that will then go into a database, and in version two, populate right into your call report. So first step is, what is the type of call? Okay, this was an in-person call. Step two is, what is the purpose of the call? Well, the purpose of the call here is I want to make a proposal. I'm also taking in the flyer. Then what did I present? I presented print and digital. And if you want, what happened? Yeah, I sold it, okay? And then you can put in notes, okay? Sold 52-week VIP. So in version one, you'll be able to record the sales activity into a, a database. In version two, which will be released very shortly after version one, it'll populate right into your call report. You know, so if you click on it in the call, you know, in the accounts, it'll go in right into the report, but look at this. In version two, you will be able to write on your electronic uh, call plan document, you'll be able to click and put in the specific sales activity. Like the purpose here, you know, was to, you know, propose. What did you present? You go, I presented a print and digital program. You know, was part of the Pulse program? Yes, it was a flyer. What was the sales status? You know, yeah, I made a sale. You know, next step, you can put in a date, follow through, and when. And so in the version two, you'll be able to populate your call plan slash call sheet directly from the electronic document by just clicking. Or like I showed you a moment ago, you can put that information into the account sales activity, and then it'll populate right into, automatically, into your Pulse call plan slash call report. And then obviously the last step is just printing, you know, this call planning call sheet document and handing it into your manager. I appreciate very much you're, you're taking a look at the proof of concept of the new Pulse call manager program. I also would appreciate any feedback, suggestions, ideas, questions, my number is 503-784-5772 or marlene at paper.net. And by the way, the Pulse Call uh, Planner program is a complimentary addition to your Pulse sales tool. Thank you very, very much. We sure appreciate the opportunity to support you.